Channel 2 investigates is still searching for answers tonight after hundreds of pieces of African art were found stashed inside of a county maintenance shed. And Channel 2 investigator Mario Diaz broke this story and he's live in the newsroom with more. Mario, is anyone talking about this yet? None of the major players we have reported on, Keith, but this is a story that has generated thousands of views on Click2Houston.com and has been the talk among Houstonians. African art, priceless African art, according to one expert, discovered by Channel 2 investigates inside of a tax Taxpayer funded facility and still no clear cut reasoning as to why. The buck yeah. stops with you, sir. What do you have to say to Harris County taxpayers about this? Thank you. County Commissioner Rodney Ellis won't talk about the hundreds of pieces of African artwork Channel 2 investigates found stashed inside of a taxpayer funded maintenance shed in his precinct. So if you want to ask Sir, a question, I'm asking a tough statement. question and we'll respond. Sir, Ellis on multiple occasions <laughs> making it clear he is not answering our questions. Thursday afternoon, Ellis took to social media with a music video touting his precinct's public art program, but he makes no mention of the artwork inside the shed. A collection with no public access, except these individuals. We don't know who they work for, but they sure were busy on a Saturday, coming and going in and out of the shed days after we started asking questions. We've been told by Ellis's team that they've completed a partial inventory of all that art and turned it over to the county attorney. Again, after we questioned Ellis. If you want to sit down for a more formal interview, we can. Thank you so much. Another person not talking, Harris County Judge Alina Hidalgo. We told her about the secret art stash more than two weeks ago. She won't sit down with us, but she was talking today, endorsing Commissioner Ellis. So, Commissioner, it's a pleasure to serve with you, and I will continue to do everything in my power to make sure you continue to be there. All right. Now, a new agreement is what Commissioner Ellis presented to us as well as Commissioner's Court this past Tuesday. Commissioner Ellis asked for the assistance of the county attorney to help him clean all of this up. It is unclear when this will once again go before Commissioner's Court. Live in the newsroom, Mario Diaz, KPRC, Channel 2 News. All right, Mario, thank you.